What's up guys, it's Uruhi TV. Today I'm going to make an update about what I'm doing tomorrow, so... What am I doing tomorrow? Now, my previous video I made was... Six Flags New England meetups. And it's confirmed that I am going to Six Flags New England tomorrow for... For my first visit in 2018. Now, the update is... I forgot to mention that Infinite Coasters will be at a meetup with me as well. So, I forgot to point that out in my other video. So, I'm heading to Six Flags New England tomorrow. I'm going to be probably leaving my house probably at 7 in the morning because I want to stop for breakfast at Chick-fil-A. You got to get Chick-fil-A. I'm probably going to make a pit stop at 7-Eleven as well before I get to the park. And I'm going to get an early parking spot just in case if it's going to be packed. But I don't think it's going to be packed tomorrow. Because at one point it was supposed to be like 72 degrees, but then it changed to like 57. And it's supposed to rain, I think, at like nighttime or something. So I think it could scare some of the crowds away. So I'm thinking the crowds are going to be average tomorrow. So between like 20 to 30 minute waits. So I don't think Six Flags is going to be too bad for crowds tomorrow. I could be wrong though, but I think it's going to be average. It won't be like my visit back on October 21st for Fright Fest with my friend Brandon Roos. That was horrendous. Like, literally the worst day I've ever had at Six Flags in general. Because the crowds were, like, this packed that I only got to do, like, four rides within the six hours. We left at, like, 6.30, I think, or 7. We left around that time because... Brandon just did not want to stay at that park. It was just way too packed. And the line for JB Smokehouse was like horrendous. It literally took like, for the look of the line, it looked to be like a 20 minute wait just to get food. No way in hell I'm waiting 20 minutes for food. Uh uh. <clears throat> so, oof, got the hiccups. <laughs> so, also, I want to mention that I just recently uploaded Goliath. The Intamin Mega Coaster. I did my very own creation of it on Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Platinum. So please check that out when you can as well. I'm going to try my best to be back in the groove for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And hopefully in within this year, I'm going to try to see if I can get maybe Planet Coaster and uh, No Limits 2. But I heard No Limits 2 is really complicated to build coasters. Same with Planet Coaster as well. So I got a lot to learn. I'm really used to Tycoon 3, so it might be a struggle for me, but I'm sure I can try. So yeah, this is just an update, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you guys at Six Flags. If you guys, Like I said, if you guys want to meet me up, comment below, just like what Coaster Box said. And I'll be seeing him tomorrow as well, so this, is, this shall be an interesting day tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to comment, subscribe below, and as always, peace out.